Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This is the crash course series in which we are discussing expected questions for NET environmental science examination. So today we are going to start one new unit which is the unit 3 environmental biology. So this is the 15th part of this crash course and those who are new you can check all the details in the description below. So let's get started. The first question is the food chain are basically of how many types? So this is a basic question and here the correct option will be option number A. Yes, there are two kinds of food chain which are mostly number one, the grazing food chain and the detritus food chain. So the grazing food chain starts from the green plant base and the detritus food chain starts from the dead organic matter. So both are very important in our ecology. Let's move to our next question. The second question is, the population of two species may interact in a kind known as proto-cooperation. So we have to say, what is proto-cooperation? So here, among the four options, the correct will be option number D. Yes, in case of proto-cooperation, the interaction is favorable for both the species, but it is not obligatory or compulsory. So we can see in this picture, the crow is using its beak to eat the insects which are found on the body of rhino and as a result the rhino is also getting clean. But it is not compulsory that the crow will get the food from the rhino and rhino will be affected in some way with the insects. So this kind of interaction which is not obligatory but favorable for both is called as proto-cooperation. Let's move to our next question. The next question is. Which of the following describes the correct pathway of energy in an ecosystem? Read the options carefully. So here, the correct option will be option number D. Yes, the light energy which is the major source for the energy for any ecosystem gets converted into chemical energy first with the help of autotrophs that are plants and then that energy is utilized and then heat is released in other tropic level. So option number D will be the correct option. The next question is homologous organs are what kind of? So here I guess everyone is able to correctly identify the correct option. The correct option is option number A. Yes, homologous organs are similar in structure and dissimilar in the function. So as we can see in this picture, here the forelimb is taken as the example where in case of animals it is used for walking but in case of birds it is used for flying and for animals like whales and other fishes it is used for swimming. So we can see the structure is almost similar but the function is different from different organism. Let's move to the next question. The next question is, which of the following book regarding origin of life is written by Francis Creek? The correct option will be option number B. Yes, Francis Creek, we know Watson and Creek, the model of DNA which was proposed. So he was one among them. So he wrote the book Life Itself, Its Origin and Nature. We should not get confused with the book Origin of Life which was written by Alexander Oparin. And here there is a question for you people you have to write who wrote the book genera plantarum in the comment section. Let's move to our next question. The next question is pyrology is the study of which of the following. So here the correct option will be option number C. Yes, the pyrology is the study of role of fire in ecology which is more appropriately the scientific study of the effects of heat or flame often in regards to explosive or chemical compounds. So from the terminology pyrolysis, you can connect the term pyrology which is the role of fire in ecology. Let's move to our next question. The next question is, which of the following statement best describes the work of a decomposer? correct option here will be option number D. Yes, 
the decomposers release the carbon from the dead bodies in the form of carbon dioxide in atmosphere. So in this way, they play a very important role in the detritus food chain. Let's move to our next question. The next question is, the rate of biogenetic nutrients between the abiotic and biotic components of an ecosystem is often referred to as what? our next question the next question is the species diversity is generally higher in ecosystem experiencing what kind of disturbance so here it is based on a concept which is option number C yes moderate disturbances causes higher diversity because according to the intermediate disturbance hypothesis at moderate level of disturbance, the maximum species happens. Because if it is low, as we can see in this graph, it decreases as the competitive exclusion increases. And if the competition or the disturbance is higher, then it decreases because of increase in species movement. And as a result, the competition level increases, so the species diversity decreases. So guys that's all in this part of this video, if you like this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel. Stay tuned for further updates.